Hello everyone, welcome back to Ian's History. I've had loads of questions over the last year. People asking me what camera I use, what microphones I use, what what accessories do I use for my videos. So I'm going to go through it today. Got all this out. This is, every, this is what I take with me on every hunt I, I go on. Uh, but I've just come up with another idea, which is going to... When you use a GoPro, it's got a field of view, which is like your eyesight. It virtually sees everything the same. But the focal range... As you get from, from where the camera's like at and it's looking out, everything's in focus. Brilliant. Until you get to about 12 inches. As soon as you go into the 12 inches, it all starts to blur out. So on my videos, I'll get to see some amazing finds. But it's hard to get the focus, hard to get a good image close up of, of what the find is. So I've got a little hack for that. It's only cost you about six, six quid, something like that. So hopefully that will make my videos better because you'll be able to see exactly what's been found. You can see what I, when, when I show people what's, what it is, it's a coin and I'll describe it. But I just want to be able to, it's annoying that I can't just go, look at that, and everyone buzzing off it. Like, it's always from a distance. So hopefully I'll fix that. Right then, let's see what we've got. We've got a chest mount. That is my main tool. I just have that around my chest. Uh, I've just bought the which is what I'm using now, filming on now, the Hero 7 Black, which has got a stabilisation in. So when I'm walking, the camera's not jumping around. It's got a bit of stabilisation a bit of stabilization to it, so uh, that'll work a lot better as well. But yeah, f to use that, because if you want to use a, a microphone with your GoPro, you've got to buy that. Look at the size of that. That's what I was using it on originally, which is the Hero Session. Look at the size of that to that little camera. And that used to just stick in the side there. And it'd be flapping around everywhere. Absolutely ridiculous. And that is, that's about 50 quid. So GoPro taking the piss out of us there, to be fair. But you've got to have it if you want to have some decent uh, audio. Um, so now with the GoPro, I think you use it for the 567. We've got this Ulanzi. Uh, for the camera and it also holds the microphone and adapter as well I'll show you how it goes in so that slides in that way it's a bit of a fiddle it will go there you go look and then that just slides in there, out of the way, not going to be flapping around. Your camera, which is there, same as this one, you've got the door on it. Take the door off. Simple as that. Don't lose that, that's about 20 odd quid. That then goes into the side, into the back. Drop that in there. The back piece will go on. And that. Just folds over and clicks in there so that's it then that's ready that's ready then to take a microphone you can use i've just got this i've been trying it out on about three four digs uh the quality is absolutely brilliant that's how much was that i think it's uh i think it's about 23 pound 24 pound ceremonic microphone and that twist however you want it twist it that way that way and it has got a bit of a shock in there stops the vibration noise so yeah it's quite good i was using uh, a little lavalier mic which is just a lapel mic that just click on and it was a long lead that plugged in and that was fine as well uh, closer to the body so it was picking up less wind noise i haven't noticed much wind noise with that either but that's to be tested but so far that is the one i'm using at the minute and that's what i'm liking so that's the mic set up you've got to have that uh GoPro adapter, pain in the arse, but when you use it with this Ulanzi uh, case, you take the way and you don't even notice it there. You've just got to be careful in case it rains, because if it rains, the water can get in there. So you'd have to take it off, get your little side door back on, and waterproof it back up. So that's that, and that's the microphone. And that microphone adapter, as I said, will, has to be used on all GoPro uh, cameras. Right, what else we got? Someone was asking me about this just the other day. I think it was today. Uh, what do I use for my spade cam? 
obviously I'm digging holes and I'm looking for finds. Sometimes when that, say that's your uh, shaft of your spade, that just fits on there, tightens up, spades there, and as you're digging the hole, it's a bit dramatic and it uh, shows the fine coming out of the ground. And also you can just push your spade in the ground and it's like a perfect tripod and it's just sat there and you can talk to the camera from that way as well, different angles. Uh, but on, get that off eBay, five, six quid. I think it's called a handlebar mount. If you're having it on your spade, it just connects around to that. That's what I've got to go back to that one. So that, that's for the spade cam, use a handlebar mount. Now that's really, really good. If you're having the chest mount with the Ulanzi uh, case, you see that bit in the middle? If you don't have that bit in the middle, your camera fits on there, it won't go all the way back. So it's always looking downwards. So you've got to have, you can get a smaller one, but I like that one because it, it comes out and sat there like that. And that's it, perfect. I can lift it up, put it down. You know, I can play, get the right angle a bit better when it's like that. So that sits like that. But yeah, definitely get that. It, it comes in two. That's a little pack of the two. Little in the uh, GoPro accessories. You can get these. The, the headband. The penis feature. <laughs> you just look a right wally, didn't you? Hello, hello, how are you doing? But, uh, It'd be all right if you was diving or something like that. But the only thing, because you've got eyes on your head and that's attached to your head, everything you look at, oh, look at that over there, look at that over there, look at that. Yeah, it's just going to, even if you've got the um, stabilisation on the 7 and the 8, doing that, doing that, doing that, looking at stuff where you've got your camera on your head, it's just going to make your footage look absolutely terrible. So a big no-no for me, that is. I wouldn't use the, the head mount for out in the bin. Uh, I haven't used this before, but I, I want to use it for a bit more dramatic footage. I thought it was longer than that. That's only about uh, 450mm. That's, that's a foot, yeah, probably about 500mm. I wanted it to be about 900 just so I can hold, have the camera facing like that and then have it downwards. And as people are walking past, I can film the feet as they walk in. Lift it up, do selfies, stuff like that, just to get different angles for the for the videos. If it's just in the one place all the time, it gets a bit boring, doesn't it? So it's just nice to mix it up a bit, which I haven't done a lot of really in the in the videos I've been doing. But I'm going to start doing a bit more, starting to get a bit more. Think about the video, think about how it's going to look for the viewers more instead of it just being blah 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 it's the same all the time. What else we got? The cameras I use, a lot of people are using the phones, which you can get really good footage just off an iPhone. The modern iPhones nowadays are absolutely amazing footage, but um, they're a pain. You've got to hold them. You're, you're, you're blocking up your phone with storage. Every phone I've had, I can't afford a brand new one straight out of the shop, which has got all the memory on everything like that. All my phones are like second hand. So if I use it for videos, it soon fills up with storage. Like you can't, you know, when you keep saying memory full, so can't be doing that. So, I've got GoPros I use, uh, Hero Session 6, I think that is Hero Session 5, Hero, Hero Session 6, cracking little camera, absolutely brilliant little camera. Then, I've got the Hero 5, which was good, but I preferred that one because it was smaller and this was a bit heavy, so I use that on my spade just for getting the odd uh, different bits of footage. Now I've just got the Hero 7, so I'm loving that at the minute. So with, all, with these three cameras, I can get all different shots and hopefully some exciting videos for you. Uh, and then we've got this, the last bit, which is the, uh, from the windows. People say it's just for like, on the bonnet of cars and just filming that. But I like to use it for when I'm vlogging and stuff. If I'm closer to a window, I could just put a camera up there if I wanted or Obviously, I can't do it at the minute because I'm talking about my cameras. Like, I have them all stuck up there, I have to keep taking them down. But, uh, yeah, it's just to get you out of the crap. You can stick it on anything. You can, I can stick it on there. And I could just have that as like a little uh, tripod as such. So, yeah, that, that is. Yeah, it's really just stick down. There you go. <laughs> that is a really little handy mount to have. 
you can use it anywhere. If you're in the car, stick it on the car window. So it's filming the two of you or filming you as you're talking. Yeah, that, that is a good one. Now, oh yeah, another tip, another tip. Spare batteries. With a session, you can't have a spare battery. I usually got a full day. I, you know, I film a lot of stuff when I'm on the digs. They're only like 30 seconds, a minute videos as such. Uh, and I get like 50, 60, 70 of them. Uh, so it's not that bad. But if you're filming a bit more, uh, you'd, you'd need two of these. Or you get the next cameras up, which is the five, six, seven, eight, And you can get the uh, extra battery packs. So I've got these now, four batteries. It's going to last me all day, no problem. That's all of the gadgets apart from the new one, which I want to show you. It comes with... I think it was six, seven quid, something like that. And you get the, the mount that fixes it to the GoPro and then you get a times 10 lens. But I've all, I've I've already had these for my DSLR camera, which is a, this is a 52 mil rim. So they fit on each other. You can't put two tens together because the dome of the lens is uh, protruding. But I found that uh, a times, a plus 10, a plus two and a plus four, gives a really good um, close-up image. But I'll show you that now. I'll try it with just the one, with just the just the GoPro, then I'll do it with six, then I'll do it with just the 10, and then I'll do it with the, the 10, the two, and the four, which shows you how good it is. Right, let's have a look at these uh, coins. Okay, so this is just the GoPro without any lens on. I can, that's probably about the closest you can get your verdict going blurred. See, I want to be, I want to be like that going, look at that. But it's just blurred. Whatever you look at, you can see what it is. It's the coins and that, but just true blurred. Well, this is now just got times six on it. Okay, to about there, which is a lot better before it was up here. Now we're to about there. So from that. Definitely clears the image up. Well, we'll try the times 10 now. It's just put... Getting there now, aren't we? Getting a bit better. Without, with. Now we do the time sixteen. So with that now, it's the time sixteen. I can get in close. It distorts the edges, it's like a fish eye. So all of the left top and bottom and right hand side of the camera is uh, fish eyed. But if I, you've got to have the right light as well. So you can't go too close still. But there, that's, that's about two inches away compared to that. A lot better. Little tiny Commonwealth coin. Someone's just come over. I've put the lens on. Oh yeah, look at that. That is making a big difference. Going to make the videos look better. And you, and you lot watching, you're going to be able to see the coins better because before it was like that. get close it just looked waffle gotta be like that for it to be in focus put the lens back on oh look at that loads better if i put times 20 uh magnification i've got to be that close and everything gets dark so it's 16 you can just get away and you can see everything in detail uh, the settings I use on my video are the field of view. If you're going to do close-ups like that, you want a narrower field of view. The wider your field of view, obviously you're coming away from the picture. 
so you're not focusing on something in the center the narrower the field of view the more you're going to be focusing on the coin especially when you're putting the magnification on uh, it gets confusing if you a big massive wild field of view with the uh, strong magnif magnification everything's going to bend and it's just going to look rubbish so a narrower field of view i'm using linear mode uh 1080p 25 24 frames per second that's all i use on all my videos and they always come out nice and sharp um i would use a strong what would i use i'd probably use a 2.7k uh and use a, a faster frame rate but i've only got a, a cheapo laptop and my laptop won't keep up with it so i've got to use the 1080p but i think that comes out fine on youtube anyway so that's it that's all my little tips of how i do my videos what i use uh anything else i can think of oh yeah you've got to have a good sense of humor uh be happy no negativity there's so much of that about on youtube and facebook people bitching at you behave behave i'll leave that out thanks for watching peeps don't forget hit the like button get subscribed leave a comment Say what you want. If you if it's helped you out, let me know. See you soon. Uh, big dig coming on Sunday. Uh, hopefully some nice finds come up. If there is some nice finds, you'll see it on the next video. See you soon. Happy New Year. Bye bye.